Okay, guys, and we're going to try something. This is just an extra video anyways. I just want to see if this works. All right. So, if you are dating or coming here to um, spy on your sign, your person's sign, remember this is sun signs only. I'm only doing sun signs through Venus retrograde, through all the retrogrades because it's, um, yeah. Anyways, we are going to get into this. Let me find my cards. Here we go. If you are interested in a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <clears throat> what do you think I'm hesitant to talk to you about? Mm. Oh shit, a third party? Holy Jesus. And who has played the biggest role in our relationship that isn't one of us? I just heard the X. Holy Jesus. Alright. If. Actually, we're going to clarify. What about the X? Or the third party? What about. This could be the third party X. This could all be the same thing. But, why, why is this fire sign hesitant to talk about this third party? Healing Heart and the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chance. Grow and transform your life. Because they don't want to talk about it because they want to get over it. They feel like it's done. Um, there's a possibility it hurts this person to talk about it. And who was it that played the most important role in your relationship's life other than one of you two? Oh, <clears throat> sorry guys. It's an ex who is married, 
they're not somebody who, you know, has <clears throat> negatively, you know, affected it. Now is not negatively affecting it now. It's somebody who was, um, who came in on your soul path to help awaken you, to get you off of the karmic cycle. It's like this person, and if it's not your ex that has done good, it's somebody who is connected to one of your exes. They've come in and they helped awaken you so that you could get off of the karmic cycle. It's kind of like this person came in to shake up your world to awaken you to what it is that you really actually need to be happy. Like, that's random, but... <laughs> yeah, the one who's teaching you now, you need to heal. Alright. If you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini... <clears throat> what do you think our current challenge is trying to teach us? And what's the unexpected gift we received from a mistake we've made? <clears throat> what is, what do you think our current challenge is trying to teach us? Being left out in the cold, what the fuck? Oh. a gift you received from a mistake you made. This is when somebody walked away or when somebody was left out in the cold, they saw something from a different, a deeper perspective. So that's answering both of those questions. So there's a possibility you guys are, I don't know if you guys are in separation or if you guys have came out of separation now. And it could be trying to teach you, you know, that, you know, coming out of the separation and coming back together, coming back together, you know, you guys can see something from a completely different point of view kind of like you guys can see, um, you can see each other's point of view. Abundance. Okay, so this is going from the lack mindset to an abundance mindset. Being grateful for what you have kind of like getting a second chance when, you know, you thought the grass was greener on the other side. Someone thought the grass was greener on the other side, but, and they may have taken something for granted, but luckily someone got a second chance kind of deal. What's the unexpected gift? Learn how to communicate um, what you guys need. Um, and maybe somebody became more romantic, you know, being in separation, you know, to where they want to actually put in the effort. Damn, that would be nice. That'd be so nice to uh, go into separation and then um, come back and things are better. So, um, if you are dealing with an air sign, looks like you guys lucked out. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. How do you know when I'm really smiling? And what do you think excites me most about our relationship now? Oh, Jesus. My spirit cats are being mean right now. How do you know when I'm really smiling? When I'm judging you for being an immature? <sighs> I 
when I'm judging you for being emotionally immature. What the? This is like somebody who gets happy when somebody reacts immaturely. Like, what the heck? What do you think excites me most about the relationship? Yeah, it's, it, that's literally the same answer. I'm going to pull one more card. But it's like somebody in the relationship, somebody gets really happy when someone acts very, like, immature. energy this is what excites me the most when you're in and you're out offering your love cup because you're acting like a player guys what the hell is going on here like you guys are not you guys are not the um you guys are not fire signs oh venus is in retrograde Everybody's seeing everything from their partner's point of view. Right now, if you are dating a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces, they get turned on by the chase, and they get really turned on when they can piss you off. Like, this is some narcissistic vibes right here. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, let's see. What do we got for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? How do you know they're smiling? <laughs> what excites them about the relationship? Like, literally, this person just said what excites them the most about the relationship is that They don't have to offer you anything because they think that this person, this person kind of thinks that you are um, very promiscuous. I let, I just heard that meme, you know, in tarot separation. In tarot, we don't say fuck boy, we say knight of wands. And I think that's beautiful. That's what this person thinks about you. Guys, you might be in a relationship with somebody who's in a separation. With somebody else. Because look, when you add the two cups there to the one extra cup somebody who's playing a third party this person guys if you were dating a cancer scorpio or a pisces if by any chance you knew that this person was talking to somebody else or they may have just became separated this person sees you as the re what excites them about you is that you're willing to be the third party and be silent and not be known like this person is treating you like a whore guys I'm gonna I'm gonna I have to be straight up and honest I mean it's Venus retrograde you've got to see it yourself I don't like saying stuff like this but you know yeah separation this person was very stable they they were very secure and they ran this person is a runner but they're also a chaser this is so weird What excites this person the most is that you avoid fights with them even though you're angry. 
All because they can manipulate you with money. What the actual fuck, guys? I don't even know. Like, water signs, get your shit together. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I love water signs. Scorpios are freaking fun as shit. Like, cancers a lot of the time stress me out. But they usually, because we're my placement, I have a cancer rising. That's what I attract the most. Like, that's pretty much most of the people that are around me, you know, because they're my rising sign. It's, um, it's what you pull in. Um, so, and cancers are very, um, emotional. And when you're an empath, You feel their emotions. Unless they're a narcissist. I mean, you don't ever feel a narcissist emotion. Because they don't really have any. <sighs> Alright. Not going to lie to you. Whoever. If you're dating a water sign. They are thinking of someone from the past. That they ran from. And this person really loves to trigger the shit out of you, but they don't value you. They actually only see you as a game. They're okay with gambling your heart. Um, just be very, very careful. Um, and this is not for everybody. This is for if you know that this person is... Um, separated from their person. If you're dating a water sign and they are separated from somebody. Alright. Earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What did we have to give up and why? And what's a decision I've made that changed the course of our relationship? Oh, Jesus. Okay. What did we have to give up and why? Where are my earth signs? Acting like a hoe. Always thinking with your wand over your head or your heart because it causes nightmares. What's a decision I've made that changed the course of our relationship? The death card to end it. Because someone needed... worse than cancers. What's a decision that I made and why? What's a decision I made that changed the course of our relationship? Ending something, working on the money to become stable, to find the happiness because what? There was a fucking mistress. There was a fucking mistress. This person, what do we have to give up and why? Acting like, you know, a player. Acting like, you know. Having to give up the straight lust. Because, you know, it was causing nightmares. Like, someone had to stop being a player. But obviously they didn't because it still led to being a having a fucking mistress. King of Wands is... King of Wands knows what he wants. 
and he, it's kind of like the king that knows what he wants. He'll go after it, but he has to touch everything that he wants. It's like he can't withhold himself from temptation. <sighs> Shit. What did we have to give up and why? Love. Oh, Jesus. Because someone was a narcissist and someone was too full of themselves. What's the decision I made? The changed course of our relationship. single person just went out and got a new pet. What's a decision that I made? Give it time, everything in divine timing, let things flow. self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation giving it time working on the self because someone sabotaged something um, by not showing their true feelings someone could have been gaslighting Someone was unconditionally loving, giving and falling in love, you know, with the engagement ring, with the ability to take this to completion, um, to a union, um, but someone quit. Self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy, lack of confidence, frustrated in a relationship. Someone either became not enough or they felt like they weren't enough. Um, there was a addiction between the two, or one of the person, one of the people had an addiction. Or someone was tied to something. Could have been tied to somebody from the past. Um, and if it's not an addiction to a person, it could be literally any kind of addiction, which is like, you know, um, drugs you know, um, overworking, alcohol, you know, negative thoughts, you know, um, stuff like that. All right, guys. Hmm. I feel like we shortchanged the air signs. Give me another card for the air signs. What are the air signs got coming up? I feel like I pulled more cards for everybody else. Let's go back and give them another card. What are the air signs got coming? What are the air signs got coming for them in their life? 
Mama Lug is asleep. Oh, feel the needles. <laughs> feel the needle. Or the little nails, whatever. Oh my goodness. Well, air signs, do you want to talk? Or no? I saw Cupid's arrow there. The Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, and change mind. The Chaser. Um, um, I don't know, uh, Air Suns, whether you were the Chaser or the other person was the Chaser. Um, but this, whoever this is, whether it's you or them, um, this person is transforming. They are growing. You know, they're having a change of mindset. I think probably for the better. Maybe it helps your relationship. Give me one more for the fire signs. What else is coming for the fire signs? Because I feel like we pulled a lot for the last two. What's something, what's coming for my fire signs? Give me something good. Give me something good, spirit. Something good. Big bucks, no whammies. Could be getting a message. Someone could be trying to the butterfly relationship is evolving to the next phase as you know you're healing the inner child you could be you could be dating a an air sign fire signs you don't have to be but I'm just saying you know like it looks like you're healing and your relationship's evolving but so is you know, um, air signs. What? Fire signs, be careful. Um, there's a possibility that there is a, another woman outside of your relationship that is trying to, that is thinking about you, okay? Um, I'll tell you, fire signs, if you are leveling up, you always have to be tested. It's like when you go from the one grade to the next or from middle school to high school you you get tested in between to make sure you've learned the lessons for that year and I think that you are about to level up to where it's really good but I think you're going to be tested I think somebody might try to come back around you know like if you are a, say if you're a man and you dated women um there's a possibility that there is another woman that is not the person that you're with. It's just somebody, you know, an ex that's looking at you. Again, right? I'll tell you right now, um, fire signs. Um, Mercury retrograde starts in August. That is when our ex is returned. The karmic ones. Okay? Stay away from them. Stay away from the karmic exes. Now, for the good part of it, you know, there's um, there's a possibility that you're learning these lessons and you're ready to move on to the next part of it. If you've already been tested and you've passed, you're ready to move on to level your relationship and your life up and you're ready to go make new memories. Because, at the bottom of the deck, you are ascending into happiness. Joy. Joy is not the same thing as happiness because you can't take joy. 
joy comes from God. You know, man can make you happy, but God can give you the happiness that doesn't go away. Like, puts things in your life, you know, helps you get on the path to where you're truly happy. Um... under the deck, if, if you've had any trouble, fire signs, uh, spirit saying you, um, are going to have what you need. So don't worry. All right. Um, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this helped. Um, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe. I actually kind of like this. This was kind of fun. This was a whole lot better than reading the exact same damn story over and over and over again. I'm getting so tired of it. I feel like everybody's going through the same story. So this was kind of fun. I think I might do it again. Pull some different cards, different questions. Let's see what's going on. Maybe I'll pull individual cards. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If you like this, please hit like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, as always, stay weird.